What's up, guys? Uh, week 11, I think it is, in the books. You like these crazy eyes? There's a casting director back in, uh, back in L.A. used to call me crazy eyes. See those crazy eyes, crazy eyes carving? Um, yeah, I think week 11 is in the books. I had one solid audition last week. Um, statistics, I think that brings us to 18 auditions. One callback, three bookings. Passed on four, four auditions. I was in Kentucky last week on uh, film. I have another week to go. Um, it's not a very challenging role. It's a lot of fun, um, nonetheless. But uh, I'm not in it a ton, so... Um, <clears throat> there's not, like, a hell of a lot of pressure on me to <laughs> carry the film or anything. Anyway, um, so look at if you look over here, you see that? That is, that is my yard work from the day. I know you're very excited to see that. And I know you're very excited that I'm shaking the camera all around as well. Um, yeah, I, I try to do yard work. I usually do it like once a week. Um, you should take a hike once a week, at least one or two runs a week, a couple of walks. I think it's, um, you know, I say nature is the original psychologist. Um, I don't know how that plane is going to sound, but, um, yeah, I try to spend a lot of time outside, just keeps me sane, keeps me grounded, and, um, wanted to talk about success this week. I got a question a couple weeks ago about, do I feel successful as an actor? I think it's a kind of a fun topic to talk about. Do I feel successful as an actor? Um... Yes, I do. Do I feel fulfilled as an actor? No, I don't. Um, you know, if we look back like 14 years ago when I first started, I'm kind of at a place where I always thought that I would have back then defined as a success, you know? So it's all, success obviously is all relative and I think success is often redefined in our lives. We consistently update what success is to us. Um, so yeah, 14 years ago, I would say, yeah, if I was like a, a working actor, I think a lot of actors, including myself, I just want to be a working actor, whatever that, whatever that means. Like, I think a lot of times it means uh, if you're a series regular or, you know, if you're a movie star or if you're making a living as an actor or not doing anything like side hustles or anything. So um, now, like I said, you know, I've done a lot. I've done a lot. Um, I've done like 30, 30 TV shows or so. Um, you know, I got to work with Tom Cruise, which is cool. You know, I've mentioned them a couple times, but I don't care. It's cool. It's like one of the highlights of my career. Like, is it going to get better than that? I don't know, but it's pretty awesome. So deal with it if I mention his name. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, anyway, going back to like success. Um, it's like bugs on me here. Um, going back to success, I think, I think um, society or our culture often has a way of defining what is what's successful for, for successful to us and for us. Um, but um, again, I, I think it's different than, than feeling fulfilled. Because, you know, I've, I've succeeded many different times in my career, in my life. Like, I've made little successes along the way. Little, when I've achieved little goals or minor goals. Or every time I get a job. Um, those are all successes. But I don't necessarily think I feel fulfilled. In order to feel fulfilled, I think I need to... I think I have to have, like, a, a series regular. I think... Um, or, or regularly appearing in, in studio films. I think... I think I feel fulfilled, but then again, I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I think, you know, we chase we chase this idea of success and then we attain it and it's like, well, that was great, but now I want something else. It's kind of like technology. Every time we get something cool for Christmas or whatever, then it's like, oh, we want the next thing three months later. <laughs> it, it's kind of a ridiculous process. But anyway, I think success, you know, it's, a, it's an inside out process. I think uh, Tony Robbins said it best when he talks about um, 
It's like, what's happiness? How do you, how do you define happiness? And in one word, he says progress. And I think I tend to agree with that. I think as long as we're making, I've noticed when, as long as I'm progressing, as long as I'm improving, as, as long as I'm learning, adding value to myself, I feel I'm happy. Like I'm a really happy guy. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, you know, I, back when I first started these videos, I mentioned uh, being in Atlanta and kind of um, shutting myself down to a lot of smaller roles, which uh, I didn't really think would help my career anymore. Uh, they're not really beneficial in any way to me anymore. And um, being in Atlanta over the past 12 months, and I'm a little bit frustrated with the lack of opportunities. Uh, if I, I, I've found like, I don't know if it's just the current, like everything that's going on in the industry, maybe it's me, um, but over the past 12 months, it's been a little bit slower than it normally is. And part of the reason I'm sure is because I'm holding out for, like I said, guest stars, recurrings, series regulars, studio pictures. And I think there's less opportunities now in Atlanta. I don't know if it's just stopped progressing and growing as fast as it used to. Um, or what's necessarily going on, but I think I'm I think strategy wise I have to open myself up again a little bit to uh, more opportunities here if I'm gonna be down in Atlanta You know, I think uh, I gotta I gotta take advantage of, of what's here um, I just got kind of got to do what I can with the best that I have right so <clears throat> And I also wanted to, you know, I got new headshots, which is cool I think it's my first headshot session in like three years, which is complete laziness on my part um, I should have done it like a year and a half ago or so or around a year anyway so I got some new headshots so that's gonna be part of the new strategy going forward as well um, I think uh, I think uh, oh I wanted to talk a little bit like three or four weeks ago Roger Bannister died he was um, he was the first person to break a four-minute mile running a four-minute mile and um, you know he he um, somebody one of my other buddies was talking about this on Facebook a couple weeks ago but um, so nobody had run a four-minute mile um, and it was just thought to be an impossible task right an impossible feat and um, impossible feat F E E T wordplay um, not only did people think it was impossible, part of the reason no one really attempted it was because health professionals would say that you would die from it. Your heart wouldn't be able to take that. It would explode in your chest. Um, so you had people people walking around who thought, hey, maybe I can get close, but you know what? I value life. I want to live. So I'm not even going to try because I don't want my heart to explode. Um, but then you have Roger, Roger Bannister come along and he breaks the four-minute mile. And since he did it, Many people have broken the four minute mile now. And I think it just reminds me of the quote, um, you have to see it to believe it. And I think Roger Bannister believed it till he saw it. So we just kind of reversed the quote. I think I, you know, I butchered it like many sayings. So it's not see it to believe it, it's believe it to see it. Um, and I think, <clears throat> I think it's just, uh, you know, in, in this industry, everything's such a mental game. You know, I, I realize the more that I talk in these videos, a lot of this, uh, a lot of this stuff I talk about, even though I'm talking mostly about industry, it's all metaphoric for life as well. You know, life is such a, life is such a, uh, a mental game. Or, and I think, you know, when we talk about success and talk about fulfillment, I think a, a lot of times we settle in our lives, you know, because when when we're kids, when we're growing up, we have goals, we have uh, we have dreams, and as we get older, life beats us down, and responsibilities happen, and uh, <clears throat> and it gets harder to realize that what we wanted to do what we really dreamed of just it seems even more it just becomes like this uh there's so many there's so many obstacles in the way all of a sudden when responsibilities of life 
start hitting us in the face. And uh, it's, I think it's, it's, it's easy to settle. Um, I think that's the standard as we settle. And uh, I totally understand it. And I think, um, you know, in, in many ways I settle. Even as an actor, sometimes I settle. Um, sometimes I, I want to go the, the, the path of least resistance. And if I do that, then, um, you know, it's, that's, not how, that's not how my career is going to progress. And um, so I think, you know, I, I always like to say, as long as we have breath in our bodies, right, we, we still make a difference. We still make it happen. Um, anyway, um, I think that's kind of like all I have for this week. But um, I'm going to try to keep these videos, I want to aim for like 13 minutes or less because 13 is my favorite number. Uh, I know a couple got up to like 20, 25 minutes and I don't know, people don't really have that much time to listen to my face talk and these crazy eyes, crazy eyes carving, talking to you guys. Um, so I want to kind of keep them a little shorter. Thanks for all the comments. Um, I figured what I was going to talk about next week. Doesn't matter. Next week is next week. I think uh, I think I'm just drunk on nature. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, talk to you soon.